I think there's a place for material for children that is very direct uh, and there's no guesswork. There are uh, programs, there's, uh, there's animation, there's, there are films, there are books that should be direct and, and bring a child directly to the Lord to help them to, to, to follow God and gives very specific type of information. But there's also a place for um, subtle lessons that are found in, in, um, in stories, in films, and songs. And, and I don't use the word subtle in a bad way, like you're trying to trick somebody to do something, no. But it is using storytelling, using art as a means to inspire, to, to transmit emotion. And, and, and the fact is that um, when we work, we work on some programs that, are, that have like a historical value. Let's say we're telling the story, such as in the Torchlighters, which is, it highlights Christian heroes. And so we tell the story of who this Christian hero was, what motivated him, etc. We put in dates and facts and figures that are correct. But at the end of the whole thing, we're not so concerned about kids remembering when um, such and such a person was born or what country they came from. We want them to be impacted in their lives and go, oh, I want to do the same thing, or maybe I'm called to do the same thing, or, or look at the way that God used this person to help these other people. So it's an emotional impact. Um, in my own life, uh, coming to know the Lord, um, God used a lot of things that made an emotional impact on my life. And, and at the end of the day, when I heard the message about Jesus Christ, I wanted to, to serve and follow him. I fell in love with God. And it wasn't the theology behind it. It wasn't like all of a sudden I read this book and said, well, you know, salvation is this. And it was God drew me. And as an artist and somebody that's involved with a lot of media and things, there's many times I, I'll, I'd love to go to museums like art museums and I'll sit there and I can sit in front of a painting and just get lost for about a half hour, if I have a half hour. But I'll get, I'll get lost in it and it'll speak to me. And I've often thought about uh, creation and how God, uh, he speaks so much through art and through, and through his own creation that sometimes you get overwhelmed. Um, let's say you watch an incredible sunset or you, you see images of space or you see images of creatures underwater and you just get overwhelmed by the magnificence of something like this and it, and it, it edifies your soul, it edifies your heart. Um, so I think there's, there's a place for that. It's like, it's like watching a, a film, well try watching a film without music, you know? Uh, you'll get a certain message, but then put the music on and see how it affects your emotions. Um, why not use all that uh, to and offer it to the Lord and let God use it in a way that will edify the people that that are listening to it or are watching it. So there's there's definitely a place for it. In the case of Ryan DeFrades, um, it brings a lot of joy. The messages are there. The message is in there. It doesn't have to be spelled out. You watch it, you get the lesson, and you get a godly lesson from it. And at the same time, you sit there and you enjoy it. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, when Jesus was telling parables, it wasn't like he was giving a lecture. He wasn't, you know, bring out your tablets and your whatever it is. And, and take, he was telling a story and it drew people in. And that, and then what he said, you know, he that has ears to hear, let him hear. I think what, in many ways, it was like, ponder it, listen to it. How does it speak to you? How does it speak to your heart? And I, and I think projects like Ryan DeFrades are the same way, you know? It's like kids love to watch things over and over. It's like a, it's like a story, okay? You're, you're, you read a story to your son or to your grandson, or your, and they'll say, you'll finish the story and they'll say, tell it again. And you go, again? Yeah, read it again. They love the whole, they don't mind seeing things over and over. And I think with Ryan DeFraze, it's the type of thing that we want them to watch that episode again and again and again. So we want it to be fun. We want it to be enjoyable. Each time they will, they, they do watch it, they'll learn something new from it.